Oh my god, you guys, it's totally the 80s and it's um, hot tub happy hour. Oh my god, I was having a wardrobe malfunction with my hair because uh, you know it's really hard to do the side ponies, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, you know, it's been years. Hey, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Uh, I am turning my hot tub into a time machine today uh, because I was feeling a little nostalgic. Okay, you know, it was good times back in the 80s. I was, uh, well, I shouldn't tell you where. Well, actually, I will tell you. I was in junior high and high school in the 80s and it was some good good times and into my 20s you know when I was actually legally able to drink uh, so but we won't go into that um so anyways like oh my god I have to tell you tell you guys something um, the cool thing about being nostalgic there are health benefits I'm gonna tell you about the health benefits I am going to share with you the beverage that y'all could not guess uh, in my last post of what beverage I was going to be drinking from the 80s uh, and I'm also going to share with you the best things about the 80s because we have some darn good memories don't we some of them we can't share uh, but of course I got to get to the scientific stuff so why this is so good for you so there are five actual scientific reasons why uh, we are obsessed with being nostalgic so uh, it causes us to feel happy there are actually studies about this okay studies uh, that they ask people to write down a nostalgic event which we can all ha we all have those stories of things that we're like oh remember when that was so awesome we had so much fun uh, they, it, they actually say that it enhances positive feelings so it makes you feel good that's why we're here today in the hot tub time machine going to the 80s and why I am wearing a side ponytail. Okay, people? Because we want to feel happy, darn it. Okay, another reason that we love being nostalgic is it brings us together, which is why you are here and I'm sharing with you because we're going to talk about those things that you go, oh my gosh, I totally remember that. That was so fun. And it makes us feel like we're like, all together and togetherness and it's so awesome uh, so that's good stuff all right even though sometimes can make you feel a little bit sad uh, but that's usually when you tie it to like you know an ex-boyfriend or you know an ex-friend or something so don't do that just have fun with it uh, the other thing about nostalgia they did a study about this and we're gonna get to the 80s nostalgia that you guys can't wait for trust me it's gonna be good uh, they actually did a scientific study. I love scientific studies. Uh, they found that listening to nostalgic music caused the participants' ambient temperature, ambient temperature, to rise. Yes. <laughs> In other words, it made them feel warmer. So being nostalgic makes you all feel warm and fuzzy inside. So what's wrong with that? It actually uh, works great in the wintertime, too. I think that's probably why people listen to... Christmas music all year long ah, okay uh, looking this is probably one of the best uh, things about um, nostalgia looking into the past gives us hope for the future isn't that interesting so you you know you think you get stuck there uh, it doesn't it doesn't actually get you stuck there uh, can remind us that there's good in the world and it helps us to look forward to the future and can't we all use a little bit of that right now looking forward to the future uh, but it's fun to go back and enjoy that uh, and lastly the other good thing about going back and being nostalgic uh, it uh, reminiscing supplies our lives with meaning we need meaning dang it yes it makes us feel like our lives are meaning and valuable and it reminds us that it's possible to overcome hardships yes we survived the 80s we overcame those hardships now that's all the good news about uh you know going back a little bit and uh now i need a beverage because as you may recall this is hot tub happy hour where i usually have a beverage so i uh, i asked you guys to guess what beverage i would be drinking and uh, you guys oh great guesses 
Uh, you were right in there with some of them. Uh, you know, the Alabama Slammer, the Fuzzy Navel, Sex on the Beach. Uh, those are all really fun, but let us remember that today is Wine Wednesday in the hot tub. Uh, and although I love those drinks and I might have to do them on a Friday, we're gonna, we're gonna do some wine. Now, a lot of you suggested the Bartles and James wine coolers and I was right there with you. And I do remember the California coolers too. That was so 80s, they didn't last, but they were really good. So the Bartles and James, the Seagrams, and I gotta say, I went to three stores and I could not find any, none, any, no wine coolers, no wine coolers. I actually asked the guy and I said, hey, do you guys sell wine coolers? And he goes, you mean like Bartles and James? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, uh, like in the, from the 80s? And I said, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And he said, oh, we haven't sold those in years. Best thing you can do is get a bottle of white Zinfandel and add some 7-Up. Oh my God. God. Now, my friends, I can't tell you the last time I had any white Zinfandel. I can't tell you. It's been years. This, my friends, is a gateway. Okay, it's a gateway wine. This is how we all started. We started with those Bartles and James, and then we're like, oh, I'm just going to have street wine. I'll have the white Zinfandel because I know a lot about wine, and I'm so cool. And then, you know, then we went straight to like the cab. So, you know, it's a gateway wine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the elusive wine cooler. I even have my frozen strawberries to bougie it up just a little bit because that's how I roll. Now I gotta tell you something about this. Doing a little shopping, let's get a little ice. I'm doing a little shopping trip for my my 80s hot tub time machine yeah let's do that up this is really the only way to drink this stuff hold on let me try it straight you know back in the old days when I was cool Ooh! you know I know why we drank this in high school so good so good okay add a little seven up now, I did get these. Remember these crazy straws? Oh my gosh, I found them at the dollar store. It's amazing. Okay, I think I'm gonna do red to match the strawberry. Put that in there, we'll throw some strawberries in here, frozen strawberries, and look at that. It's all bougied up. Isn't it cute? It's so yummy. Okay, now on my little shopping adventure, Mm. Well, you know what? It is pretty tasty. I gotta admit. I know. And let me tell you, this right here, 350. 350! 350, people! I can bet there's a hangover in my future for sure. Now, on my little shopping trip, looking for my 80s things that we're going to get to all of that nostalgia that you uh, you guys are going to you guys you guys are going to love it I got good stuff. Uh, I have found a hole in the wine market. Well, number one, the wine coolers because there were none to be had. None. And do you remember how much we loved these things when we want to be nostalgic? We want to go get those Bartles and James or something, you know, else. So, new product, everything old is new again. Okay, little little gap in the wine market. The other gap, and this is fascinating. I went to the wine rack there that was all of the rosés, all the pink wine, okay? All that really pretty pink wine. It is all named rosé. This is the only one named white Zinfandel. And this is like, you know, a legend in the wine industry. Like I said, the gateway wine, white Zinfandel. And did you know that if you order white Zinfandel, or actually if you order Zinfandel in, on the East Coast, that's what you get. This is what they 
call plain old Zinfandel. It's the pink stuff. I'm not joking. So the East Coasters come out here and they ask for red Zinfandel. They have to specify because they think if they order just Zinfandel here, they will get the pink stuff. Bet you didn't know that, did you? So a little gap in the wine market could be an opportunity for somebody. Like I said, everything old is new again. And darn it, I wanna be nostalgic because I wanna feel good, okay, and happy. And uh, feel like I'm connecting with you guys. I, you know, I'm definitely connecting right now. Connecting. Hmm. Yummy. Okay. Now I'm going to cover some of the best things about the 80s. Because I know you guys are right there with me. The best toys. The best fashion trends. Oh, so good. The best beauty products. The best music and entertainment. The best technology. And of course my favorite, the best 80s movies let's start with the toys because that was fun if you were really young in the 80s you probably remember the crazy straws I did have that on the list and I happened to find them I was very excited about that crazy straws cabbage patch dolls did you guys have one of these I think I missed this I think I was a little older uh, I did not have the cabbage patch doll but I have a feeling even if I wanted one, my mom would have said, oh, hell no, I am not spending that money on a doll, okay? No, not happening, not happening. I did, however, have a Rubik's Cube that I never figured out how to do, never solved it. Uh, I did, in fact, take one apart, took it apart, <laughs> put it back together. <laughs> hey, solved it, woo, genius. Genius. Yeah, no, I just never could get a handle. I could get like two sides. I was like as far as I could get. So Rubik's Cube, super fun. You remember that? Oh, the fashion. We loved the 80s fashion. I did this just for you guys because, oh my God, it's the 80s. <laughs> but do you remember the parachute pants? Of course you do. I think uh, I was not into the parachute pants, but I was indeed into the acid washed jeans. Do you remember like acid washed everything? I had an acid washed jean jacket. Oh, I just thought I was absolutely the coolest. Oh my God, the coolest, let me tell you. And by far my favorite, and this is one of these examples of what is old is new again. Okay, fanny packs. Okay, do not tell me that fanny packs are not cool. They were the best invention. I still have a fanny pack from the 80s. No joke, it's leather. They have now come back in style. I saw one from Calvin Klein recently that was a full on leather fanny pack, my friends. Now, when my daughter was in high school, she had geek day and she borrowed my fanny pack for a day because it was very geeky because only geeks would wear a fanny pack, right? She wore it for the entire day. She came home and she exclaimed very loudly, oh my God, mom, fanny packs are so awesome. I could put all my stuff in there, my phone, and then I'm like, hands free. And I said, yes, yes, which is why I kept it. And I actually did wear it to a concert last summer. Ah. See, I'm telling you people, stuff's gonna come back. Just wait for the acid wash jeans. Well, see, I didn't tell you. Okay, beauty products. Okay, if you grew up in the 80s, ladies, okay. Uh, I had this, I had every product that came with this. The Loves Baby Soft, okay. This was the perfume, the body lotion, the powder. Oh, I had it all. Oh, I just smelled so good, like baby soft. Oh, yeah. Ooh, stuff is so disgusting. One of the cool things was the uh, lip smackers. You remember the lip smackers lip gloss? And there's another one that I thought it was lip smackers, but I actually had to look it up. Do you know the ones in the little tin and that you slide it and you use that? They're lip lickers. They were lip lickers. And I had the, uh, I'd have the strawberry and the watermelon flavor. So that's so good, so good. Uh, of course, for your hair, the sun in, I did use the sun in to lighten up my hair, a little peroxide and a little bottle just spray on there and 
looks so cute. And the scrunchie. Uh, I did do this because, you know, it's very 80s. Uh, I will admit, I do not own a scrunchie. Oh, I should have went and got one, but then I would have only used it for this show, and then, yeah. Those were good. That was, those were good beauty, beauty products and fashions, and oh, I just love that stuff. Okay. Now, do you remember the 80s and the car safety? Hold on. Wait for it. The car safety, which was basically non-existent. Do you remember this? Do you remember riding the car with your parents and uh, no seatbelts? Oh my gosh, no seatbelts. You could ride in the back of the truck. We did that on the, on the ranch, on the farm, and even down the street. Oh yeah, no big deal. That was no big deal. You could even sit in your parents' lap while they drove. Yeah, that's cool. I remember uh, going on a trip, on a road trip with my aunt and uncle. And they had a VW bus, which was, you know, not very cool back in the day. Super cool now. Um, but I remember they were very safety, safety conscious. And they made us wear a seatbelt. And I was like, what do you mean wear a seatbelt? It's so not fair. I can't see out the window. Uh, but they were like on it, on it. The car safety, non-existent. Somehow some of us survived. Okay, good thing. Technology. We actually had technology in the 80s, whether you want to believe it or not. One of my favorites, uh, the Walkman, the Sony Walkman. You remember that? With you put your tape in there, walk around with your headphones, like all like totally cool. Like that was one of my total favorites. You know, those little, the little like they were like little Nerf headphones. Ah, oh, that was so much fun. How about pay phones? <laughs> <laughs> the people who are the millennials are like, what's a payphone? I don't know what that is. What do you have to do? You don't even see them anymore. But do you remember making like a collect call and uh, you'd have to like say your name for the collect call to get the person to accept the charges? So you'd like fake it out and be like, oh, hey mom, I need to get picked up now. Yes, mom will accept the charges. Uh, no, she won't. She got the message. Yeah, that was good times. But the best technology was, oh, uh, was the beepers. Remember beepers? Now, you know, when I was in high school, if anybody had a beeper, you were probably a drug dealer. Uh, I'm just saying, no judgment, but you know, most likely you, you were the only one who had enough money to have the beeper and to have the, the you know, subscription plan to have the beeper. Uh, but as I got into my 20s, I definitely had a beeper. I felt so cool, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, beepers, technology, 80s technology. That was fun. Okay, music. Of course, music. Now, do you remember when you would call the radio station and you would request a song because you needed it for your mixed tape that we would make, right? So you could tape it off the radio. And do you remember getting so mad at the DJs where they'd talk over the beginning of the song and you're like, rude. Oh my God, I'm one of those people now. <laughs> I actually do it all the time. I've done it and there have been times when I've thought about that. I'm like, oh, it's a new song and somebody's gonna be like, oh, I wanna tape this song. Stupid DJ talking over the beginning of the song. I wanna get it for free. Ah, oh, that was the good old days, the good old days. Now this, um, I did sign up for this a couple of different, ti different times. Um, the, do you remember the Columbia House? record and tape club like you pull them out of the magazine or they'd send it to you in the mail and you'd get like all of these like free you get like a hundred free or 20 free or whatever if you bought so many during the year for regular price I mean, it was actually a pretty good deal if you were really into music because you got all these you know other cds and stuff like that well not cds tapes back in the day tapes remember tapes oh my gosh but that was really fun and of course, everybody had a boom box, you know, like this. Yo, I'm so cool, got my boom box. Remember that? And like, it was like the bigger, the better, like made you way more cool if you had like a huge boom box. Oh, yeah, those were good times. So now, are you feeling nostalgic, right? Like, how good do you feel right now? Okay, I would be remiss if I did not mention for the 80s, the boy bands, oh, ladies. 
ladies, did we have crushes or what? Okay, so Duran Duran, when I was in high school, pretty cool, very hot, total boy band. They were like hottie patotties, okay? Um, and then, okay, it was New Kids on the Block. I remember New Kids on the Block. I was never into them. But oh my God, make way for the Backstreet Boys. Oh, be still my heart. Yes, Backstreet Boys. Okay, Justin Timberlake, I'm still a big, big, big fan. Love that guy. Okay, how about entertainment? What kind of entertainment? Do you remember the Saturday morning cartoons? I would look forward to that. That would be so awesome. You'd literally have your breakfast sitting right in front of the television for Saturday morning cartoons. And some days we were lucky enough if my dad was around, he always wanted to watch The Roadrunner. That was his favorite. And he, I would love listening to him laugh so hard every time the coyote would get creamed and The Roadrunner would win. Ah, it was, uh, those were good, good times. Good times, the Saturday morning cartoons, love that. Of course, we had MTV. Do you remember when MTV was like the coolest thing ever? And you get to see all the videos. And you know, people make video music videos now and I'm still like, oh, I didn't even know there was a music video. But when there was MTV, you were glued to that TV to see the next big video and what was it gonna be? And oh, I remember watching over and over again, Thriller. Oh, Michael Jackson, Thriller, MTV, and the VJs, I always wanted to be a VJ. <laughs> that might be why I'm standing here, uh, sitting here in a hot tub with a side ponytail talking about things from the 80s. Who knows, I don't know. What about the arcades? Remember going to the arcades and spending hours there and you'd hang out with your friends and you play like Asteroids and Pac-Man. Oh, it was so much fun. Centipede, I used to love Centipede. So much fun, the arcades. We had good times, didn't we? We had good times. It was also back when our parents would drop us off at the arcade and drive away and not watch us. Good times, good times. I'm gonna leave you with the best movies of the 80s. Of course, I'm, uh, I love movies. I have a huge movie library. I'm totally into that. Uh, so I wanna hear what your favorite movies. Now, I, I tried to keep most of these to the top three, but when it came to the movies, I was like, uh, no, no, nah, I can't do three. I gotta at least do five, at least five. So uh, I've got the top five best movies from the 80s. Are you ready? Because I can't live without these movies. The Goonies. Oh, I love the Goonies. I so wanted to go on an adventure like that. The Goonies, that was so much fun. So much fun, so cute. Uh, the Breakfast Club, I loved The Breakfast Club because it had all these different characters and you knew you could kind of like connect with at least one of them on some level and you're kind of like, I kind of like that and I'm kind of like that. And that was a, a real coming of age film as it were. Loved that one. Okay, 16 Candles like the best coming of age movie, if you will. Molly Ringwald was in like, you know, all these movies, Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, and she was like the it girl. She was the girl. And uh, the whole, all that, that, what was it? Like that Brat Pack kind of thing that they used to call all those kids that were in all the same movies. But 16 Candles, uh, Michael Anthony Hall made that movie. Uh, one of my, my favorites. And of course, Jake Ryan, everybody drooled over him. He's a total hottie. Um, okay, here's one that everybody, I think even every adult, every kid, probably would want to relive uh, at least once. At least once, maybe several times, I don't know. Some parts you would want to repeat, some other parts you wouldn't want to. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. Come on, Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Right? That was the best movie. Oh, it was so much fun. And I think, like I said, everybody watches that movie and they go, uh, I totally want to do that. I totally want a day where I just skip everything and go do crazy shit. Like, that's so fun. And I'm going to leave you 
with the last best movie of the 80s, I know there's a very, very big list. Feel free to add yours. I had a hard time choosing and, and narrowing it down. Uh, but one of my favorites, of course, uh, Spicoli, it's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> it was just too much fun. Uh, and I'm actually thinking, uh, wondering which one I'm going to watch tonight. Because this usually, if I talk about movies, uh, it's probably going to be a movie I'm going to watch tonight. So, um, and I'm in the mood for an 80s movie. I got the ponytail. I got the white Zan wine cooler. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys uh, for joining me for Wine Wednesday and going on our happy hour time machine. Uh, back to the 80s. I'm gonna be back in the hot tub on Friday for Fun Friday. I'm gonna do something super fun. You're gonna have to come and join me. Uh, make sure you guys go to my YouTube channel. Just do a search for Hot Tub Happy Hour and subscribe so you can see all this stuff. Plus some of the behind the scenes for some of this stuff that uh, that I'm doing, which is sometimes fun and sometimes boring. But you know, it's there. You can see what goes on behind the scenes. You can watch me make my side ponytail. I know it's tragic, tragic. You guys have a great wine Wednesday. See you soon. Bye.